Hi, in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how you can import bills into QuickBooks Desktop from text or Excel files or even IIF files using Z axis. To start off with, if you're not familiar with QuickBooks or bills within QuickBooks, there's just a couple of concepts I'm going to explain which are important when it comes to mapping. So here we have a bill in QuickBooks. Now this particular bill is set to split its charges as expenses. So that's important. There's associated there's an expense count, an expense amount, and a memo with that as well. So another type of bill that you might get is for a bill that you might be purchasing items on. So these are items that are being used to be resold or used within the manufacturer within your business. So here you can see some items and here you'll see an item code, a description, a quantity, a rate and an amount. So these are important to determine the different splits that can be happen on a bill and how to handle those and we'll come to that when we do the mapping. So to begin the process of importing these transactions or these bills into QuickBooks. First off we're going to open Z-axis on our desktop and we're going to connect to our QuickBooks desktop company file. So we click connect and now we've got a connection we can click on the import tab and browse to the file that contains the bills that we're going to upload. Z-axis will open that text file in this case which contains um, two bills one which is a bill that's split to accounts and another bill which is purchasing items on it. So next we're going to create a mapping. We select the transaction type as bill and we go through a process of mapping the fields in the columns in the import file to the corresponding fields in QuickBooks. So the mar fields marked in yellow are the mandatory fields. So we're going to match in the vendor, a reference number for the bill, and the memo, and here's the first bit where we're going to look at the expense accounts. So we'll have an expense account, we'll map against this field called account full name, and we've got another field for expense amount. That's very important that you don't map the item fields in at these expense account area. This is a common error that people do make when mapping this. So here we've got a combination of the expense account, the expense amount and the memo. And for the other bill, which has items on it, now in some instances you obviously won't have items, so you just map the expense accounts and vice versa. But this example I've included both. So we'll map in the item, the description, the quantity and the cost. So now that we've mapped both these fields, we'll give the mapping a name. So that we can save it and reuse it for the next time we need to import. So now you'll see in the data just the fields that we've mapped and the corresponding field name in QuickBooks. So we've got a name for the vendor, we've got a reference number, a memo, here's where the expense account splits goes and here where the item splits go. So when we're ready we just click on import and Z-axis will validate the data and we'll make sure that all the items and expense accounts and vendors exist and we'll go through a process of importing those directly into your QuickBooks company file. And there, those two bills have been imported from the text file directly into QuickBooks. So just to click on the View button here, we'll open QuickBooks, and we can see that bill that we've just imported there, and then the corresponding one here for the items. So one bill was for the expenses, and one bill was for item-type purchases. So very briefly, that's how you import bills from text or Excel files directly into QuickBooks using Z-axis.